When it comes to your professional development, it's really hard to underestimate the power of networking. But here's the catch. A lot of people are eager to grow their networks, but very few people know how to leverage their networks, especially online. So if you are one of those people who wants to not only grow your number of connections, but actually learn how to convert them into real life opportunities, be it for your business, your job search, or your career development in general, this video is for you. Today, I want to share with you the biggest lesson I've learned about building an effective and productive network on LinkedIn specifically. Stick to the end of this video because I'll also share the biggest mistake I made when I was starting to build my personal brand on LinkedIn and my own recipe for growing a substantial following on this platform. Hey everyone, I'm Anna from CV Labs. I'm a career advisor and on this channel I talk about how to make your job search easier and get you hired for that fantastic job you want and of course deserve. If you want to make the most out of your career and get regular tips for your personal and professional development, make sure to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you're the first to watch my new video every single week. For a small channel like this one, your support means so much, so your voice and your every reaction is really, really appreciated. So let's figure it out together. Why is LinkedIn the go-to place for meaningful and productive networking? First of all, LinkedIn can help expose you to your industry peers and thought leaders. It can help you generate new leads and introductions and new connections as well in terms of invitations for interviews. It can help you create marketing and business possibilities for partnerships and collaborations. It can help you get invitations to speak at events and conferences and the list of possibilities does not end there. So if LinkedIn is so great, why aren't you getting anywhere with it? Is there some kind of a secret recipe everyone knows about but you? I'm here today to spill all the secrets and share the lessons it took me months to learn to help you save all of that time and generate results from LinkedIn much sooner. But before we dive into the real lessons learned, why should you trust my advice in the first place? About two and a half years ago, I made a seemingly simple decision that has forever changed the way I think and do business in particular. And that decision was to hit publish under my very first LinkedIn post. <laughs> Please. Since then, I've been practically living on LinkedIn, learning the ins and outs of this platform and its algorithm, and I've turned it into the main engine behind my coaching business. And over the past couple of years, I went from a couple hundred cold and pretty random connections to a strong community of over 50,000 followers and hundreds of thousands of monthly views on LinkedIn. Every single business and career opportunity that has happened to me since that first day I hit publish can be traced to my presence and my activity on LinkedIn. So as you can tell, I'm not here to just talk the talk because I've actually been walking the walk for the past couple of years and I want to share everything I've learned with you so that you can get results from LinkedIn much faster. Because I've been where you are today, feeling like you're banging your head against the wall trying to figure out what's missing, consuming a ton of online content every single day, trying to learn as much as you can, as fast as you can, and then being on the verge of totally giving up. So let's dive into the real good stuff. What have I learned during this time? And most importantly, how can it help you with your success on LinkedIn? What most influencers on LinkedIn won't tell you is that numbers on LinkedIn don't really equal success. Yeah, let's say you have some views and some followers. So what? It might seem super cool and successful on the outside, but I think everything comes down to how you define your success. Oh my god, I'm successful! <laughs> so whenever you seem to be too focused on the numbers, think about why you are on LinkedIn in the first place. Yeah, okay, you have some views, but if that doesn't give you any leads, if that doesn't generate interesting new connections and meaningful conversations with people, if that doesn't give you invitations to collaborate or invitations to interview for a job, then what do those numbers matter? So the most important part is to, number one, remember why you're on LinkedIn in the first place, keep your eyes on the prize, and then build a strategy that'll help you get the result that you actually want. Because here's the real catch. Building an active and resourceful human network on LinkedIn isn't really the same as simply gaining followers. 
You can gain followers by sending random connection requests, not even bothering to attach a personalized note every time, and simply trying to hit as many people as you can in a day. There are even automation tools for that, which LinkedIn, by the way, strongly advises not to use in their terms and conditions. In reality, growing a resourceful network requires, of course, discipline of showing up for others, even if you don't get anything out of it right this moment. It also requires sharing quality content consistently, whether we're talking your own content or other valuable resources that you found elsewhere. And finally, it requires collaborating with people in a meaningful and human way, because networking is a two-way street. And I'm not saying that you need to be a genius or you need to be producing absolutely perfect and flawless content, or that you need to spend hours overthinking every single word on your LinkedIn profile. Similarly to how you can't get killer apps by doing one super intense workout every month, you can't build an effective network or a reputation on LinkedIn if you're working on your LinkedIn presence inconsistently. Come on, give me five more. Five more. Five more and I'll flash you. Here's the biggest mistake I made when I started building my personal brand on LinkedIn. And this is also a very common mistake I see so many other people make on LinkedIn today. When I was first starting out, I was so concerned with making everything flawless and perfect that I'd spend hours and hours overthinking every word in my key messaging, in every post, in every article, and in every section of my LinkedIn profile. You know how they tell you, find your voice? I thought that that was exactly what I was doing for myself. So I would polish up every word and every sentence. I would make sure that I would publish the best possible version of every post and every article to make it flawless, at least in my opinion. So as you can imagine, it would take me hours and hours to do one tiny thing, such as share an update or write an article or do something on LinkedIn, whatever that was. And that led to me doing that very, very regularly. And what's worse, after all of that time and effort I'd have invested, I'd get very small results. Insignificant traffic, small audience, tiny engagement, no leads or no new interesting connections. Let me know in the comments if you can relate to that feeling. So as I was starting to lose my motivation, I realized that I needed to change my strategy. Instead of investing hours into producing one flawlessly polished piece of content once in a blue moon, I decided to take smaller imperfect steps every single day. Let's say start with writing one short post or contacting one new person or adding only one new element to my LinkedIn profile or revising only one section of my profile at a time. And while doing so, I'd focus only on that one element and forget all about the ultimate goal. Turns out small imperfect steps added up over time get you much better results than only one well thought out, well planned and polished step taken only once in a long while. So what's the lesson here? Consistency beats intensity. So if you want more traffic and more views on LinkedIn, remember that your target audience isn't going to just magically find you out of nowhere. In order for them to find you, you need to grow your engagement and interactions on LinkedIn. And the only way to achieve that is through consistent and regular work on your LinkedIn presence, activity and branding. If you want more tips on how to network with people online, I have another video where I share five simple yet very effective strategies to help you cut through all of the online noise and stand out on LinkedIn. I link to that video in the description below. And now I'd love to hear from you. What's your story with LinkedIn? What is your biggest challenge on LinkedIn right now? Let me know in the comments below. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, don't forget to hit thumbs up. If you loved it, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you again soon.